Hi guys, uh, welcome to my video tutorial. Okay, as promised you guys earlier, uh, in one of my blog posts, I'll be sharing with you how to draw trend channel because a lot of you guys has been asking me how to draw a trend channel. Okay, B because you have been seeing me using it on my live trade video. Okay, and that's what the purpose of this whole video here is to share with you how to do it. Okay, uh. So let's begin now. So for the trend channel, right, it's very important. It's basically consists of two, two uh trend line. It's considered two trend line. One the support trend line. One is the resistance trend line. They combine to form a trend channel, and uh, one of the main criteria for it is that it has to be parallel to each other. This two trend channel, this one, two, this two trend line, so called, they must be parallel to one another. Okay, so let me show you how I'm going to do it now. So as you can see here, what you're seeing here is hourly uh, chart on the pound US dollar. So you see, trend line. There's a lot of way to trend draw trend line. Okay, and I'm not going to talk about trend line here. I'm talking about trend channel here. Okay, because a trend line is a very big topic. Okay, it, it takes more than one video to complete because it's going to be a very very big topic, and it takes me a long time to really figure out. Uh, at almost how to use trend line in a variety of ways okay there's long term trend line medium term trend line uh short term trend line valid trend line break invalid trend line break fake out there's a lot of ways to use trend line and i can't actually finish them here in this uh blog post okay because uh, there's a lot of things you can talk about you can talk for a long period of time okay but it's a very, very good technique if you understand trend line okay it sounds very simple most people a trend line is just a line but it's just it's more than a line Okay, I can I use trend line to formulate strategy from a long term, medium term, short term, and a combination of this thing to form a strategy. Okay, and this other thing you can do with trend line if you can do it correctly, you can do it right. Okay, but we are not talking about it here in this um blog post. So let's go straight to the trend channel thing. So uh, a trend channel right consists of two trend line that must be parallel and. Uh, it's best that they pass through the as many points as possible. Let's say now I'm drawing a, a support trend line. You see that? Okay, this is one support trend line. Is it one point, two point? Can you see that? So I could draw it in this manner. If I do it a little bit more, okay, can you see it pushed through one point, two point, three point. Okay, so it passed through more points means that this support level is stronger. But is this the right line? It has to go back to the. It has to actually go back to draw another trend line, which is the resistant trend line. To check whether they are parallel or not. Can you see here? I got another trend line. One point. It has been tested several times here. One point, one point, one point. Okay, fake breakout. It come back here again. Okay, and so far, can you see so many points? And these two, are they parallel to each other? Yes. And this is the trend channel. So, can you see what happened here? The price keep on testing it, testing it, up, down, up, down, fake out. See, want to trick you into enter the trade, it moves back. So if you're able to tell whether this is a real one or a fake one, you'll be able to avoid this uh, so-called losing trades and profit from the repulsion. Okay, so that's very important. This is how what I call the how to uh, tell a, a so-called uh, valid trend line break. But I'm not going to talk about here in this video because it's unfair for those who took the course. So uh, let's go back to here. You can see the price breakthrough. Fake out again, it move all the way back. Break through, move back. Break through, move back. Break through, move back again. That means this line we're drawing is correct because it's been tested so many times and finally it crumble down all the way down here. Okay, can you see it crumble all the way down here. So this is the trend channel that I'm talking about. So the criteria is try to draw the trend line such that they're parallel to each other and they pass through as many points as possible. So this is what I call trend channel. Okay, let's go to a four hour chart. You can see here. This is four hour chart. So the same thing. You can see this is trend channel here. So basically this is how you draw a trend channel. So let's go to another another part another chart is uh Euro US dollar. You see I, I show you this four hour chart uh. uh let's begin here. Okay, sometimes you have to zoom the chart a little bit more. Zoom the chart to see whether this forms a good trend channel. So if we have one support level at the bottom, can you see here? Okay, test a few times, up, down, test it, test it again. So we have another point here. 
Is it tested? 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 Tested so many times? Okay, and this tells us that this line here is the resistance trend line, support trend line. Are they parallel to each other? Yes. So this tells me that the Euro US dollar on the 4 hourly chart is actually moving within a range. Okay, they're ranging. Can you see? Move up, move down, hit here is now moving back up again. So it's ranging. Okay, so this is also a trend channel. So the trend channel need not be uh, so called uh, slanted. Like just now what I show you, it can be horizontal as well. Okay, all you need to do is make sure you, you have a trend line that pass through as many points as possible and followed by you must have a, a parallel trend line. Okay, uh, so I hope that you guys uh, learned something from this uh, blog post. So uh, that's all I have for you guys in this tutorial. And I'll be uh, keeping you guys update on the market analysis on this uh, Euro US dollar, pound US dollar if there's any movement. But just let you guys know that on the Euro US dollar, can you see that? It's moving within a trend channel. This is why I tell you guys here, moving up, down, up, down. So now it's likely move back up. Okay, because it's, if it's going to move within the trend channel, it's going to move back up. But it's being resisted by this uh, EMA here. So you have to be very careful if you're going for long. So take note of it. Okay, for the pound US dollar. At the moment, right? Uh, okay, at the moment, nothing much. Okay, uh, here, you see, it moved up. So this thing is being held by this uh, EMA, it's moving down. So there's nothing much at the moment for this pound US dollar. I will keep updates if there's any formation of any patterns. Okay, so I hope that you guys enjoy this tutorial and I'll talk to you again.